Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full time reseller. So in this video, we're going to be opening up two lots of jewelry that I got. Um, one was from actually they're both from eBay. And I also have a couple pieces of jewelry I picked up from an estate sale that I went to this past weekend. And I also have a piece of jewelry that was from a previous sale um, that the buyer did not pay. So I'm going to show that first, which is the turquoise three strand piece uh, necklace, I should say. Oh, and I got my nails done. Woo, a little bit of a cool, unique design I had her do. Um, so this piece, uh, the person didn't pay. I... Uh, you know, don't want to get into it, but it's available again. And I was doing um, 30 on it. It does have sterling silver caps right here, but the toggle is not sterling. And this is genuine turquoise. Um, and I will give you a measurement. So if you are interested in anything that you see in this video today, you can email me at another chance resale one, the number one at gmail.com. This is a 19 inch uh, total length, 19 inch total length. And I accept PayPal. Payment is due immediately upon receipt of the invoice. Um, I usually give about an hour time frame to send payment. Um, and then, you, you know, your invoice is subject to cancellation if there are other people in interested in your item. Um, I, you know, I don't hold items I also do a sold list, which I put in the comments. I pin it in the comments, so it'll be the first comment down in the comment section. So you can check that list before you email me to make sure your items are still available. And um, all my information is always in the description box, which is under the video as well. You just have to open up that tab. And we'll do 25 on this this time. So if you're interested, $25. And um, shipping is $5 flat rate under one pound within the US. I do ship international and um, that and anything over a pound is based on your weight and location and of course USPS. Um, so, you know, I'll probably repeat that throughout the video here and there. Uh, so let's talk about some of the pieces I found at the estate sale. Um, I did also put the majority of the jewelry I bought from the estate sale in my uh, mystery jewelry subscription boxes, which are going out today. Today is August 2nd. It's a Monday. Obviously, I couldn't get them out August 1st because it was a Sunday. Um, so they are going out today when I go to the post office. So if anyone's interested in checking out what that's about, I'll put the link in the description box. And um, I ship out every month six pieces of jewelry for $30. I won't go into the details. I'll let you click on the link to find out more. Um, but you can cancel anytime. You can rejoin anytime because it's through Patreon. Okay, so let's talk about this piece, this item. I should say pieces because it is a pair of earrings. Um, these are... Okay, so he told me that they are sterling and green topaz. I mean, I'm no expert, but I've never heard of green topaz. I don't know. I just thought they were really pretty and I bought them and he sold them to me for $10, which I thought was pretty fair for them to be sterling. And if they were topaz, then you know, that's fine, that's great. So I did not test them. I'm going to show you guys everything right here with me right now. Um, I didn't see any markings. And to me, the tarnish does not necessarily look like sterling silver tarnish. But you know, I don't, I'm not an expert, like I said, but we are going to check it out together. So let's first check for sterling. And I use the 18 karat solution. I get a lot of questions about this, so I'm going to talk about it 
in you know every other or every couple videos so I'm sorry if you have heard this before um, but I do welcome my new subscribers hello and if you have not subscribed yet you can do so right down here the red button and make sure you click that bell to all so you are notified when I make new videos so anyway I use the 18 karat solution because it will turn the scratch line a bright blue and it's very clear like it's either going to eat the line and disappear or if it's not sterling or if it is sterling the line will turn blue um, with the sterling silver solution it is red well like a brownish red and if you use it on a dark stone you need to have like a q-tip or a cotton ball or something so then you wipe the line with the acid and you can see the color difference on the cotton ball it'll be like a really dark like blood color almost for me it's a little bit difficult to tell the difference between the color of the acid and the color of the sterling positive line so i just stay clear of that whole situation and i use the 18 karat it's more clear and easier for me to determine so that's just my opinion i know a lot of people do use the sterling silver and that's fine but i like this way okay so they are definitely sterling silver see how bright that line is so there's no question there so let me clear that off quickly and i already started pressy up so we will get her reading on the stones here she is and let's see Okay. It does not go to Topaz, that's for sure, because Topaz is right here. I, okay, it's on the Spinel or Jadeite, but it's kind of also on the Citrine line. It's like at the very end of the Citrine line. So it can be Citrine, but let me see. We're going to dive into this a little further. So we're going to take out my Gems of the World book. If anyone's interested in purchasing this book, I'll put a link to it in the description box. And what's really cool is it has all these stones and you can kind of do some homework and research. Because honestly, I forget what some of these are sometimes. So if you guys have any ideas of what this stone can be, you can go ahead and put your ideas in or your you know if you know for sure you can let me know in the description I mean in the comment section but yeah so it came up pretty clear in the jadeite and spinel line so I know what jadeite looks like already it's more of an actual like rock stone than an actual like a gemstone like this it's like kind of clear well see-through I should say so I'm thinking maybe it's spinel so we're gonna look up spinel and then down here, I love this. It tells you what colors that it can be. Red, brown, black, green, or blue. So these are green. And I know spinel is a pretty common gemstone to use in jewelry. So um, it'll give you a little like description of everything and it'll talk about, um, you know, what it is, how it's made. It'll even give you different shapes that the stone can be made into, which this one is probably the cushion. It's kind of like a mix between the cushion and the brilliant. Or actually, yeah. But anyway, my point is that I think it's spinel because citrine, I think, is more of like a yellow. So, you know, we're going to figure this out together. Hopefully I'm not boring anybody. Um, but I like to show you guys how I come up with things to in order to list them and, su and such. Yeah, so citrine is showing yellow to amber. 
So I'm going to go with that this is sterling silver and spinel. What do you guys think? Let me know if you think I'm right or wrong. So actually I'll keep pressing on. So I am going to sell these four. Um, we're gonna do 20 on them. I think that's pretty fair and you get the box with it. And there is some tarnish on these and I don't usually um, polish my sterling silver because some people like it, like the tarnish, but I will include a little polishing cloth. If you guys would like it to be polished, you can do that when once you receive the earrings. So $20, spinel and sterling silver, little drop earrings, really cute. Okay, next I found a Joan Rivers ring. So it is marked right in there. I don't think it'll focus, but it's right there. And it says, at, like, you know, spelled out Joan Rivers. And it's gold tone and red enamel with like an amber color rhinestone. Rhinestones. Really nice condition. There's just, is that wear or is that just dirty? It's a little bit of wear to the back. See right there? But other than that, she's in nice condition. And this is a size seven. And we're gonna do $12 on this. Really nice. I can probably list that for probably 18 on eBay. Okay, now I have the really exciting piece that I found at the estate sale that he did not know what it was because clearly, as you can tell with the earrings, he didn't know what stones he was talking about. Green topaz, all right. So um, I saw this ring in with the, uh, with the other rings that were more like sterling and stuff like that. And for some reason, this ring stuck out to me. Um, he had other rings that had like red stones and stuff, but for some reason this one stuck out because I really liked how, try to get in closer. It's like circled, the green stone is circled with other stones. So I'm like, okay, this one looks really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna get it. I'll tell you, cause I don't normally tell my prices, but I'll tell you, he only charged me $5 for this. It is sterling, but, oh no, it is marked. I thought it wasn't marked. It's marked, eh, 925 right there. So let's make sure I show you guys it is sterling. That wasn't a very good scratch, but it is. There we go. So there's that bright blue line. And then I will, I did test this one. This one I did test because I was curious to see what the stones were, because he didn't tell me. He just said, oh, this is sterling, um, I'll do $5, since because I bought a bunch of pieces from him. So, um, and this was the last piece he looked at. So he's like, oh, eh, $5. So, it's sterling silver. <laughs> Can you guys guess what the other stones are? There's two other stones here. We have the, the green in the middle. which I'm guessing is citrine. Oh, I just slipped off of it. Hold on. But it doesn't... It might be like a chrysophrase or a citrine. So um, I always forget what the chrysophrase is. So we're going to look in the book really quick. Page 201. 
Yeah, I think it's chrysophrase because it can be yellowish green to apple green. Okay, so it's chrysophrase and boom, check that out. Four diamonds. There are one on each side to north, south, east, and west. Awesome. I was so excited when I got home and tested this because I knew it. Sometimes when you, st when you start to work with jewelry, you'll just get that feeling that you're like, you'll just know. Um, cause sometimes I'll be like, Oh, well, I don't know. This might be silver. This might be gold. Sometimes you'll get those pieces that you're just going to know. And that's the feeling I got with this one. So let's get a size. It's an eight. We're going to do, um, we're gonna do $80 on this one. And if it doesn't sell, this will not get marked down into, uh, in other videos, I'll probably list it for around 100 or maybe even more. I have to check comps um, online, but it is very, it's in really good condition. There's really hardly any wear to it. It's really, really pretty and unique and very dainty and feminine, okay? Oh, and make sure you guys are giving me a screenshot or timestamp. I always forget that part for some reason. Um, timestamp or screenshot of the items that you're interested in. Um, description only does not work. There are just too many items for me to try to figure out just by your description. So please try to give me a screenshot or a timestamp uh, with your email. Okay, so this is from eBay. I did open just the box because I wanted to make sure, you know, what it was because I ordered a bunch of different things last week, but I did not go through it. As you can see, I kept everything closed. So we are going to go through this together. And let's see what we got. It's a small little lot, but I saw that it had some really nice like name brand pieces. So I went ahead and bought it. Um, I think this one was $30, maybe 40, somewhere around there. Okay, so remember if you're interested in anything, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. And if you have not ordered from me before, make sure you send me your PayPal email and your mailing address so I can send you the invoice. And payment is due immediately upon receipt of the invoice. $5 shipping under a pound. And look at these little cuties. Monet, still on the card. Surgical steel post. Now let's see if these are marked. Yep, so they're marked to the inside right there and on the backings. They're definitely never worn. They look really nice. So we're going to do 12 on these. Really pretty. I like how they're individually bagged. These are really nice. So I can put them right in the bag and they'll be ready to ship right back in the bag. All right, so we have a silver tone necklace. This says 925, but I don't know about that because this clasp kind of doesn't really, isn't really indicative of something that's sterling silver. But we'll check it. It's cute little, got cute little dangles on here. So let's see, we'll do two things. We'll do the charms and then we will do the chain. Hopefully that'll be a good enough scratch to get a reading. No, yeah, see, this is this is what I mean. It's very cheap for jewelers to purchase a 925 stamp um, and to just put 925 on things. So you always have to make sure you check, even though it says 925, check it. 
because as you can see, the acid ate the line completely. So this is fake, fake, fake. <laughs> but that's okay because it's still pretty and it's in good condition, but I did see a little bit of wear to this jump ring right here. Um, but other than that, she's pretty nice, nice and uh, like minimalist necklace here. And it's a 10 inch wearable length to the pendants. So we'll just do five on that one. It's okay. All right, let's see what this big one is. All right, there's definitely a little bit of discoloration to this. It's Napier. So actually it goes this way. And yeah, there is a little bit of discoloration. I don't know if that would come off with some polishing or like the ultrasonic cleaner, which I do not have. Um, but it is a fold over clasp, which is always nice, especially for people like me with long nails and this uh, spring ring clasps are just like impossible. This is cool. It is marked to the back Napier. So um, let's see, I can do a wearable length of about eight and a quarter. And since it does have some wear here and here, I will just do $8 on this. But like I said, if you guys have the ultrasonic cleaner, it, it I'm pretty sure it would come clean. Okay, now we have a faux pearl. Yep, faux pearl. It's almost got like a pinkish, a light pinkish tone to it. G silver. Okay, well this is a fish hook clasp. So you pinch it and then you pull it through like that and it's off. Not sure what G silver means, but we can see if it's sterling. It is not. So I don't know what that means. Somebody can let me know in the comments if you know. But it is very pretty and it's in good condition. And it's a wearable length of 13 inches. It's lightweight though. So you know what, we'll just do four on it. Looks like we have a pair of clip-on earrings. These are Sarah Coventry. They're in good condition, really nice. Really nice silver tone clip-ons. We will do five on those. This is gold tone, it's lightweight. There is no maker on this tag, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. You can definitely double it. Good condition. Let's get a measurement. Wearable length is 20 inches. If, if you don't like a lot of weight on your neck, this is definitely the necklace for you. So we're gonna do seven on that. You know what, let me put them right back in the bags. Stay nice and organized. Okay, then we have these clip-ons, but there's definitely some wear to them. Yeah. We're gonna have to put these in a craft lot. These are not wearable. So craft lot they go. They will be available for $1. Oh, and you know what? I haven't done a creator showcase in a while where I give a little shout out to a, uh, you know, a, a YouTube creator channel and I put their link in my description box. 
So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to shout out three people that I can think of off the top of my head right now. And if you're not one of them, I will, I will, you know, I do, I will do more of these because I was doing them for a while and then I stopped. Um, so I'm going to start them again and I'm going to shout out Steven with Sugar Vision. Um, I recently, he, we, we recently started following each other. So I want you to check out his page. He shows jewelry, um, sells jewelry, really nice stuff. So I'll put his link in the description. I also would like to shout out Deborah. I think her name is Timeless Jewels by Deborah. If I'm wrong, I'm really sorry. I just watched her video this morning. <laughs> but again, I will put her um, Timeless Treasures by Deborah. I'll put it on the screen. And I'll put her link in there. And then she also does um, like unboxings and thread up stuff as well. So I will definitely put her link there. Really nice videos. And, um, also Clarissa with Thriving Thrifters. She is really funny. I really like her. Her videos are great. Uh, she includes her family members in them and she actually cracks me up in, in all her videos. She's really funny. Um, she does all types of unboxings and it's really a great channel. And these three YouTubers are pretty new. So check out their channels by clicking their link in the description box and show some love. And let's keep going. So we have this silver tone. There's a little mark on the back. Silver tone drop necklace. It's an eight inch wearable length. See, this one says 9252, but there's no way that this is, you know what, I'm not even going to test it. So I'm just going to do um, five on this one. <clears throat> and if it is sterling, then hey, you got yourself a deal. But to me, that doesn't look like sterling. And because the last one was a Fugazi, then this one might be too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, these are nice. So these are really pretty silver tone earrings. They have a, a nice weight to them with the little cutouts. Really excellent condition. We'll do five on those. And last but not least in this lot, we have a bracelet. This tag says Monet. And it is a silver tone with a safety clasp, a safety chain, I mean. But what is this stuff? Is that peeling? Oh, you know what it might be? Somebody might have did the clear nail polish on this too. Or is it peeling? I'm not really sure. Can you guys see that? It's like chunky. But it's just on that one link. Very weird. So let me get you guys a, how do I open this? I want to get a measurement, but there's a safety chain. So I might have to just do a circumference. Sorry guys. And it is about seven inches around. And because of that wear, I'm not sure what exactly is going on there. Um, I'll just do five on this. Okay. Now let's go on to the second lot and see what we got in here. So first I see some brooches. Cute, we have a little palm tree with some faux pearls. 
let's do five on that one. We have silver tone, these are plastic. Blue, we'll do four. No maker on this one. Gold tone, we'll do five. Okay, let's check out this stuff. Okay, we so we have a tangle. We have a tangle. There we go. All right, let's see what this says. Uh, nothing. All right. This is a triple strand, if I can get it untangled here. There we go. So these are plastic beads, but they do feel pretty nice. They're not, you know, unbelievably lightweight. So it's pretty nice. Black with gold tone, three different layers. It does have an extender. Uh, let's put it on the shortest just to see the length. And to the first layer, it's nine inches. And then the last layer, it's 13 inches wearable length, but it can go longer. So we're gonna do six bucks on this. I saw little flamingo things. This is cute. It looks like it's almost like a gold tone or like a rose gold tone, very light, and then silver tone in the center. Oh, somebody had six on this at one point. The cloth is in pretty good shape. It's on an extender. Right now it's sitting at a nine inch wearable length but can go larger. So let's keep it at $6. I saw some earrings, these looked cool. Some wood earrings, open hoops. Pretty nice, pretty good condition, five bucks. <clears throat> Make sure you guys check out that sold list that's pinned in the comments. And make sure when you email me, you let me know the timestamp and or screenshot of the items you're interested in. Oh, something's not right here. Oh, we're missing a bead. I wonder if someone can just cut that off and make it even, because this is really cool. Wow, is this this? is probably not sterling, right? I would I would just scream if it was. No, it ate it right away. But this is pretty cool. But it's kind of like a uh, fixer upper piece because you have to probably take off that one bead that's making it not even. But this is cool. It's a nine inch wearable length. It's got a little hook clasp. This has got some weight to it. Um, let's do eight on it. I like that. This is a cool, it's probably just acrylic, gold tone tassel. It's uh, two strand, two different kinds of uh, chains. Let's get the measurement. The smallest wearable length is seven and a half inches. We'll do five, that's pretty. All right, this is cool, these are Probably acrylic with a faux suede brown cord. These have like a stone in the middle. It's like a little candy with a liquid center. <laughs> 10 inch wearable length. We'll do six on this. Ooh, coach. Coach. 
Okay, coach. So let's see. It's silver tone leather. I should silver tone, silver leather. There is a little bit of wear on the turn closure. And there's definitely a little bit of wear on the inside, but not too bad. And the total length on this is eight and a half inches. So let's see, with the wear, let's just do 10 bucks. It's still coach. Oh, I see something really big in here. Let's see, let's see what this is, this big honker. Oh, all my heart jewelry people, here you go. Look at this. Look how big this is. This looks like bone, I mean not bone, horn. A uh, natural bullhorn. I don't know if it's natural, but it looks like a uh, bullhorn. And it's on like a cloth cord. And it is long. And it's a 15 inch wearable length, but I'm sure you can double this and make it kind of like a choker. It's definitely got a little bit of weight to it. So let's do 12 on this one. That's pretty cool. Oh, this looks like Kate Spade. It is Kate Spade. Am I out of focus? So this is a Kate Spade with like a yellowish, like a, like a muted yellow crystal necklace. It's on the shortest length right now, which is measuring at 15 inches, but can go longer. So let's do 15 on it. This is cool too. This looks like, I wanna say it looks like wood. It's got like a dark brown coloration or maybe it's, it's gotta be wood. You guys probably aren't gonna be able to see but it's like a, a tooth or something. It could be bone, like it could be an actual tooth, but colored. I don't know. I'm going to stick with wood. And it's a 11, and, 11 inch wearable length. I'm just checking for any markings. Let's do five. This looks pretty. Oh, I have an earring. Oh, I like this. This kind of looks like Tory Burch. This is a silver tone, kind of like medallion necklace. Really nice condition. I really like this one a lot. It kind of has the Tory Burch emblem, but it's not. It does have an extender. It's on the shortest now. And to the first layer, it's nine inches. And to the bottom pendant, it's 12 and a half inches. Wearable length and it can go longer. So let's do 10 on this one. This one's really nice. I really like that one. So we have a little jingle bell bracelet. It can be pushed open and closed a little bit. So let's get a circumference. It is seven inch circumference. Let's do $6 on it. Really nice condition. Ooh, this is cute. Look at you cutie little butterfly with all your stones. Are these glass? They feel cold. No, it's just the metal. With all these seed beads, beautiful colors on the butterfly.
double strand. I was just checking for markings. It does have an extender to make it longer. Right now it's sitting at eight and a half inch wearable length. So let's do eight bucks on that one. Ooh, this is pretty. Hmm. I don't know that maker. But this could be sterling. Let's see. Oh, I can't even get a scratch. It may not be. Well, let's see. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, but this looks like blue lace agate. What do you guys think? Agate is probably not, it's not going to come up on the gem tester, but let's just see. No. This is really nice. It's really long, but since it has the clasp, you can definitely even triple this. And it's a 24 inch wearable length. This is really nice. This would look so nice tripled as a collar necklace. So, and they're faceted, the beads. We're gonna do 15 on this one. That's really cool. I like it. This looks like one of those handmade bracelets that I had a couple, a bunch of videos ago. This is cool. Um, it is a seven inch length and we'll do six on that one. We have a really long, um, it's like a brownish purple faux pearl. It definitely has some substantial weight. Let's get a measurement. You can definitely triple this one. Um, wearable length is 31 inches. It definitely has a weight, like I said, so if you know, be careful if you're if you're not good with weight around your neck. We're gonna do eight on this one. Oh, it's cute, the little lips. Oh, DVF, that's Diane Von Furstenberg. Oh wow, I've only gotten her jewelry a couple times. This is cool, so it's silver tone, big chunky clasp. And it's like a loose braid. And then it's loose here. That's pretty cool. Very unique. So let's get a measurement on that. It's a 16 inch wearable length. Um, I probably, yeah, let's do 15 bucks on it. Give you guys a deal. I can probably list that online for at least 30. This doesn't have a maker, but these definitely sound like glass and stone. Yeah. Okay, so this is silver tone with these satellites. Might even be carnelian, I'm not sure. I don't know what that would be. But let's get a measurement. It's on the shortest length on the extender. It's 18 inches wearable. Uh, we'll do seven on it. I've spied some malachite. with a screw clasp, screw barrel, barrel clasp. Is this the front or the back? There we go. How pretty is this? Malachite chunks. This might be mother of pearl beads, I think. And I love the malachite there. 
This will just have to get hung so it can kind of untangle. Not untangle, but like stretch out. Not sterling. Nine inch wearable length. Let's do um, 12 on it. That's really pretty. What? This is cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. What does that say? Swank. Cool. I love this. I wonder if they have anything like this listed online. Let, let me just look really quick because I only thought Swank makes couplings. I've never actually seen a piece of their jewelry. <clears throat> yeah, so there's one listed in a lot. Hmm. Okay, not bad. But they don't look like this. All right. Okay, so let's look at this. This is really cool. I love the dimension on it. Wow. Nice, chunky, long chain. It's a 14-inch wearable length to the pendant. It does have some weight to it. So let's do, um, I'm going to do 15 on this one too. This one's really cool and really different. And it's in good condition. I like that. Ooh, baby, I like that one. All right, let's dump out the rest of the bag. Let's see what this is. Oh, Chico's. This is a keychain. So we have some Chinese characters, turquoise, uh, a little coin, ooh, a little Buddha, some more Chinese characters, and this faux cinnabar little suede tassel. This is kind of cool. I like it. So let's do um, eight bucks on that. We have a faux pearl and silver tone necklace. No markings. Oh wow, it's very long. Let's get a measurement really quick while I have it all the way out here. 30 inches. So this can definitely be tripled. We'll do five on it. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a blue mermaid. And um, I actually think this is black. I don't even know if this is gunmetal, but we'll just say like a dark gunmetal, almost black, I guess. It's on the shortest length, which is seven inches, and it can go another three. Wearable length, we'll do five. Almost done here, guys. So make sure when you email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com, you give me the um, description, timestamp, screenshot, so I know which pieces you're talking about. Um, payment is required upon receipt of the invoice. I accept PayPal. This, oh, this is Chico's too. This is cool. So this has got a lot going on. Let me see if I can show you how I'm going to show you. We have the chain here. Then we have these two caps with like a mesh slinky chain duo or no quadruple. <laughs> and then it comes to this piece here, which branches off into two tassels. Really pretty. I like this one. You can definitely wear this at the tightest length and this part right here would be like a collar style and then it would, this would come down like a tie that would be so cool 
So that measurement at the smallest, I should say shortest length total with the tassels is 20 inches wearable. Let's do 10 on the Chico's. All right, we got some earrings. These are cool. Elephant, elephant head earrings. There's a little bit of wear, but nothing serious. No markings, we'll do five on those, I like those. Here's more earrings. Gold tone with a green, greenish blue enamel and stars. Little hoops. There's a little bit of wear to the backs. We'll do four. Oh wait, here's another necklace. Oh, these are MMA. So this is my, uh, the Museum of Modern Art. Oh, I like this. These look like little snake heads. Are they? I don't, oh yeah, or alligators maybe. What? So cool. There is a little bit of maybe verdigris or something on the top there, but it's nothing serious. This is really neat. So wearable length is nine inches and then total is 13 inches to the bottom of the little gaiters. Oh my gosh, I love this. All right, so it's in, it's in pretty good condition. An MMA can go for quite a pretty penny. So I'm gonna do 20 on this one. It's a really cool piece. All right, here's the other earring to that one. So we have some faux turquoise and gold tone. We'll do four on those, little hook earrings. We have these ones, which are like those hugger ones. So you, this part is like a stud and this will hang underneath your earlobe. So your earlobe goes in the middle here. Those are cool. We'll do four on those. All right, lastly, we have three rings. So let's see what these are all about. Wow, look at that one. <clears throat> it does say something on the inside. Where's my loop? All right, what does that say now? I think it's upside down. It says... Oh, 925? Really? Let's see if you're a Vermeil, which is a gold wash over sterling silver. No. Is that really what it says? Oh, there's something on the other side too. Let me see what that says. Oh my God. Oh, Thailand. Okay, so it says Thailand on one side. Yeah, it does say 925, but that's this is not 925. So that's not correct. But the this is glass. It's pretty nonetheless. So let's get a measurement. It's in excellent condition. It's a size eight. So let's do, um, let's do 12 on it. That's really pretty. All right. Ooh, look at this AB one. It is adjustable. It says patent pending on the inside. That's pretty. So as it sits, it has not been adjusted. So as it sits now, it's a seven and a half. Um, so let's do seven on it. And then look at this big mama. There's definitely some wear on the sides here. 
See, this one says 925 on the inside too. Okay, okay. Nope. All these fakers today. Let's see if the stones show up as anything. Nope, glass. And there is some wear on the prongs around the stone. But look at that. What a pretty summer ring. All right, so let's see the price. I mean, the, um, my gosh, the price, the weight, the size on this. It's a six and three fourths. So we're just gonna do five on it because of the wear. But still a pretty ring. And that's it guys, that wraps up today's video. I wanna thank you all for watching and spending some time with me. Make sure you check out the sold list pinned in the comments and all the links I'm gonna put in the description box and we will see you in the next one.